Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today's video, I want to show you how to get this really simple, really pretty pink summery makeup look. If you guys like to see how to get this look right here, don't forget to subscribe down below and keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get right into it. And FYI, I am wearing a shirt. It's just down here. <laughs> it's a little wrong. Um, okay, so I wanted to again do a really kind of pink summery makeup look for today I wanted to keep it super simple super easy and just show you guys how just one color and just a few little products can really take you look to the next level and just make you look really put together and You're ready to get out the door um, So for today's makeup look I have already um, prepped my skin. I just put some foundation on I did do my brows um, And I did set my face with some powder just to kind of be ready and move on to the next steps um, so to get started today, we're going to be using some Nomad products and again, this is the light infusion powder by Nomad. It's a really really pretty pink shade So we're going to be going in with that. I'm going to be using the This is the Elizabeth Mott tapered blending brush. I'm going to just take a little bit of the product Tap off the excess and then apply it right here So I kind of want to just apply it all over the eyelid, but I first always like to start at the crease because I never want to go higher than where I'm intended to go like I never want to go to the brow okay, so going back into it so now I'm taking a bit more products and you can see how pretty that is it's not really pink but it just adds a really nice kind of pop you know color and a little bit of shimmer so just like that the eyes or as far as the eyeshadow is pretty much done because again I'm keeping it really simple just really clean really pretty really girly for today so next up is a product that I'm going to be using for the very first time this is by Honest Beauty and this is a brand that Jessica Alba has created this is super super nice I'm super excited to try this I went to Target I wanted to actually pick up a lot more of her products um, but unfortunately they weren't at the store. I was hoping to get some lipsticks Maybe try like some of the blushes that I've heard really good reviews from um, But this I know that their mascara is their number one bestseller. Um, she said it herself in one of the videos um, So that's how I know that um, so I'm really excited to try it. So ooh, This is nice So I'm just note I'm opening it for the first time right now in front of you guys so you can see that it's two-sided on this side here the primer and then on the other side is the mascara i really like how nice and big this product is it's really like a chunky you know stick of mascara it's not dingy and i don't feel like oh my gosh i'm gonna finish this like within like a few days you know so this is really good so i'm gonna open up the primer side which is the side right here that has like the pink side here let me just open that up first so let's just take a second to appreciate the primer wand. I mean, this is really cool. I don't feel like I use enough primers when it comes to mascaras. I did have um, a mascara, which was a Clinique mascara. And I did used to use, because I had it together, the primer and the mascara, I feel like having it together is such an added benefit because if it comes in two different wands and I'm in a hurry, I'm just not gonna grab two products and put them on. It's just, it's not gonna happen. So I feel like having it on the same exact tube is really, really great. And now I'm going to be going into the mascara side, which is this side over here. And let's check out this wand here. So a really nice wand. I like that it starts off a little um, more longer with the kind of ridges right here, with the actual wands, the bristles, I should say and then it kind of tapers downward. I really like that. And it's a really nice long one. It's not short or too, you know, kind of chunky. It looks really good. Like you can really get into this area right here. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Sometimes I find myself when it's too long here, I got to flip and then I got to go this way and then I end up having like a big chunk right here and it just, just does not look cute. So this is actually really helpful. I think this has just become my favorite mascara. I'm gonna tell you why, because usually for me to use a one like this on the top and bottom or to find one is hard because you want one that really adds a really great volume on top, but sometimes on the bottom lashes, you use that same mascara one and it just gets everywhere. And this one is not, it's really, really good. So you can see the difference, it's really pretty. And again, this is just with one coat. And my lashes, I guess it's maybe from the primer because I didn't curl them just to really give the mascara like 
really see the test and see how it withstands but they look so much more like curled and open and they look really really pretty so I really really like that so now I'm gonna do the other eye all right guys so I have applied the mascara to both lash both lashes to both eyes though and I am loving it I can't stop looking in the mirror because I'm just like wow like it looks really good Usually I would feel like I have to put like some falsies on just to kind of get that really nice look or kind of just like use a few mascaras to get that real nice volume and like really coat every single lash on the bottom lash line. But I mean it's done a really good job and I'm really really impressed and I'm super excited because I feel like this is a mascara that I can use and be out the door and I can use by itself and I can feel really really pretty using it. So thank you so much to Jessica Alba for creating such an amazing brand. I feel like it's great that she brings so much awareness to all the chemicals and all the things that are in our beauty products that we really should be paying more attention to. So again, thank you Jessica Alba and the Honest Beauty brand. So moving on to the next product for today, I'm going to be using the Manali Baked Up Blush and this is the Luminoso. I really really love this one because it has a slight shimmer and a really pretty coral like shade. And I just love it for summer. I feel like it's really just pretty on the face. It just it looks good on every skin tone. And again, it's just a really great shade. So the next product and last product for today is going to be one of my favorites as well. This is the Revlon Matte Ultra HD Lip Color. And this is in the shade Addiction. So this is a really, really pretty lip shade. I have a red one and a lighter pink one of this type of um, lipstick. But I really like the feel because it's matte, but it's really creamy and it doesn't feel heavy or sticky and it doesn't crack throughout the day. I feel like the formula with these is amazing. I had actually used the red ones for one of my clients for a photo shoot and the photos came out just stunning. Like the red just popped so beautifully. So I really, really recommend these shades. And this is today's final results. Super easy, super pink, and pretty, and super summery. Hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It'll really help to support my channel. Subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed already. That way you can be part of my family. And until next time, remember to always create a life that you love.